हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ सी एम ए पद्मजा बुजुर्ग आई विल डिस्कस अकाउंट्स ऑफ जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनीज प्लीज गो टू स्टडी नोट नंबर वन अकाउंटिंग ऑफ शेयर्स एंड डिबेंचर्स आई विल डिस्कस क्वांटिटी ऑफ शेयर्स फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ बाय बैक दैट इज हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स कंपनी कैन बाय बैक फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ क्वांटम ऑफ शेयर्स that is number of shares for buyback provisions are given in section 68 of companies act 2030 as per this company is supposed to perform three test shares outstanding test resource test and debt equity ratio test as per these three test find out number of shares company can buy back and the lower of the three is to be considered as number of shares to be buy back share outstanding test as per this a certain number of shares that is number of paid up share capital total number of shares and 25% of these number of shares is eligible for buy back with the approval of shareholders second test is resource test as per this test a certain shareholders funds which is capital plus free reserves and find out buyback price and shareholders funds divided by buyback price multiplied by 25% is number of shares for buyback as per resource test third is debt equity ratio test as per debt equity ratio debt ratio test as after buyback debt equity ratio of the company should be 2 is to 1 so you are first supposed to find out shareholders funds and after buyback shareholders funds should be at least half of borrowed funds now we'll see illustration 28 xyz limited has following capital structure of company as on 31st march 15 rupees are in crores equity share capital shares of rupees 10 each 300 that is 30 shares of 10 rupees are in crores general reserve securities premium profit and loss and export reserve export reserve is statutory reserve and last one is loan fund the shareholders have on recommendation of board of directors approved wide special resolution at their meeting on 10th april 15 a proposal to buy back maximum permissible equity shares considering the huge cash surplus following account of one of its divisions the market price was hovering in the range of 25 and in order to induce existing shareholders to offer their shares for buyback it was decided to offer a price 20% above market so 25 rupees plus 20% of 25 which is 5 rupees so 25 plus 5 30 rupees is buyback price offered advise the company on maximum number of shares that can be bought back and record journal entries for the same assuming the buyback has been completed in full within next 3 months if borrowed funds were 1200 crores and 1500 crores respectively would your answer change so we'll see what is the borrowed fund as per question borrowed fund as per question is 800 now if the borrowed funds instead of 800 if it is 1200 and 1500 crores then would your answer change that is the question ask so we'll prepare working note first working note is finding out share outstanding test number of shares outstanding we have seen it is 30 crores 25% of that is 7.5 crores so as per shares outstanding test number of shares to be bought back is 7.5 crores 
as per resource test you are supposed to find out shareholders funds paid up capital plus re free reserves is shareholders funds free reserves is 270 plus 100 plus 50 which is 270 is general reserve 100 is security premium and 50 is profit and loss account Export reserve is not free reserve which cannot be utilized for the purpose of buyback. So 720 is shareholders fund. Buyback price offered is 25 rupees market price plus 20% 20 of 25. So buyback price offered is 30 rupees. Now you should use the formula for finding out number of shares as to be bought back as per resource test shareholders funds divided by buyback price into 25% shareholders funds is 720 divided by buyback price is 30 into 25% 720 divided by 30 is 24 25% of 24 is 6 crores so as per resource test number of shares to be bought back is 6 crores third test is debt equity ratio test we will see this debt equity ratio test for three situations in first situation borrowed funds are 800 which is given in balance sheet in situation 3 if borrowed funds are 1200 and in situation 3 if borrowed funds are 1500 crores would your answer change is the question asked. So after buyback debt equity should be 2 is to 1. So equity should be half of borrowed funds. So in first situation equity minimum equity to be maintained is 400 half of 800. In situation second minimum equity to be maintained after buyback is 600 half of 1200. And in situation 3, it is half of 1500, 750 is minimum equity to be maintained after buyback. Present equity, which is nothing but shareholders funds, we have just now found out. Share capital plus free reserves, 720, everywhere it is same. So maximum possible dilution in equity is 720 minus 400, 320. 720 minus 600 120 in the third situation minimum equity to be maintained is more than present shareholders funds so buyback is not possible in third situation shares to be bought back is 320 divided by 30 is 10.67 then 120 divided by 30 is 4 and in the third situation, company cannot buy back shares. So first two tests, that is just now we have seen these two tests, share outstanding test and resource test, it is same whether borrowed capital is 800 or 1200 or 1500. So as per first test, number of shares are 7.5. Second test, number of shares are 6. And as per third test, number of shares are 10.67. So in first situation, lower of these three is 6 crores. So shares to be bought back is 6 crores. Situation 1, 7.5, 6 and 10.68, minimum of this is 6. Situation 2, 7.5, 6, this is same, it won't change. And 4, minimum of it is 4. Wrong answer is given in the book and they have passed journal entries also wrongly for situation 2. So just rectify those. In situation 3, shares outstanding test, number of shares to be bought back is 7.5. As per resource test, it is 6. But as per debt equity ratio test, buyback is not allowed. Now for all the three situations, we will see journal entries. Situation 1, number of shares bought back is 6 crores at 30, face value is 10. So, 6 crores into 10 will go to capital and 6 into 20 will go to premium on buyback. 
equity share capital account debit 60 6 into 10 premium on buyback account debit 120 6 into 20 to equity shareholders account 180 equity shareholders account debit to bank 180 this is these entries are to show shares are bought back at premium premium is rupees 20 because buyback price is 30 face value is 10 so 10 plus 20 10 will go to capital and 20 will go to premium on buyback in securities premium you have only 100 so balance is to be taken from general reserve premium on buyback is 120 securities premium account debit 100 general reserve account debit 20 to premium on buyback account this entry is adjustment of premium on buyback from securities premium and general reserve next entry is transferred to capital redemption reserve because shares are bought back out of free reserves there is no fresh issue of shares so general reserve to capital redemption reserve account this is nothing but nominal value of shares bought back gets transferred to CRR in situation 2 number of shares bought back are 4 crores at 30 rupees are in crores equity share capital account debit 44 into 10 premium on buyback account debit 84 into 20 to equity shareholders 120 and equity shareholders to bank 120 this is to show buyback of 4 crore equity shares at rupees 30 buyback price is 30 don't forget to mention on top of the column rupees in crores securities premium to premium on buyback 80 securities premium has 100 so from securities premium only you can transfer to premium on buyback which is 80 and general reserve account debit to capital redemption reserve account 40 nominal value face value of shares to be bought back gets transferred to capital redemption reserve account as per situation 3 company does not qualify debt equity test therefore company is not allowed to buy back shares in this particular video I have explained determination of quantum of buyback as per section 68 and accounting for buyback of shares we have seen one illustration for this thank you